Good morning, y'all. <clears throat> it's been a been a little bit of days since I've uh, did well since my last morning rambling almost a week ago, and uh, just got back inside the crib. Had to meet up with my father and talk a little bit, but uh, I want to do. I'm I don't know. I want to talk about a hero that's helping me out in this raid tournament. And since there's no raids, and it's the second time, no, third time. I don't know how the algorithm works with, with the how the raid tournament is, but this is the third time where we had a no red five star. So... The last one we just had with no red was no heal, no resurrection. <laughs> that was rough. This one's rough. No fire, you know, fire. And very fast. And the way it's looking, I've seen a lot of defenses so far. Not only with the teams I faced for day one, but people have been posting screenshots of defenses that they went up against and ran into a brick wall and, and got annihilated. And, um... So I I waited, and what I did yesterday was I just said, you know what, I'm just going to raid, do normal raids. I don't care if I lose three in a row. I'm t I'm going to test out certain teams without Black Knight and, and Grave Maker and and Tire, Tur Tire whatever, and I want to see what's going to happen. And against some of the top players, I won, and a lot of them, I lost three in a row. But what I wanted to see was when I did get the, the board that I needed, what would happen against these teams that are set up. Even though they did have the Grave Makers and Zim and uh, Black Knights, Queen of Hearts, whatever, on the normal raid defense. I I wanted to see what was going to happen. So this hero right here um, it saved me. Saved me. Guardian Gazelle. And I think I said in, I don't know how many uh, videos I, I did ago, but I said, man, I would love to have, I, would, I love Guardian Gazelle. I would love to get another one. And I didn't know this event coming up was going to be, hence Guardians of Tell Talk, and and the countdown is how many day, how many hours now? Sixteen hours and fourteen minutes away. But and I was just finished talking talking in the Discord, the Extreme Discord, and. Uh, one of the fellas said he got 250 Druid emblems and he's, you know, thinking about who, if he should wait for other heroes, if he gets, or if he does have them, you know, who should he put them towards and, or I think he's about to get it. I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head. It was a big message that he put and I replied back to him and I basically said that, you know, guarding Gazelle is doing great for me. So I tagged another player who I was talking to early this morning about it. And and I I didn't do videos of my raid tournaments late last night because I just didn't feel like I, I didn't care about recording. I just wanted to get it over with and go to bed. It was already late. It was almost midnight. And I was just doing a lot of stuff yesterday, visiting my father again. And talking with my mom, talking about real life situations and stuff that's happening right now. And um, trying to cope with things, right? So, uh, so I was raiding all day yesterday. And I said, you know what? Let me go in with this team right here. Y'all see my normal Ariel Mother Nor combo. And I was like, all right, I'm going to do this. 
So I noticed that if I did get the board, it didn't matter. I crushed. I don't even know if this team is still there. But I think it had Al Freak, but it didn't matter. I crushed the team that had maxed out Finley. No, Vela had, yeah, Finley had 20 emblems. Vela had 20 emblems. Talori had 20 emblems. And Kill Hair had 20. And I think it was either, yeah, Gravemaker had um, 20. And the dude had both ma uh, Ice Mana Troops at 30. And everyone else was 30. And that this team right here obliterated it. Like, I got the board that I needed. And when even though finley went off i was praying that please don't hit gazelle first gazelle was hit last so he when he started his chain i didn't care about who you hit because then you know the defense down was only going to be on gazelle and then when kill hair came through uh it almost it almost killed gazelle when her uh, special came through but you know she was still healing in the middle of her special so this is what your other four heroes would get and and i i talked about in the war that i lost where i i could have got four clean one shots and two and i got two clean uh cleanups but I failed. So on that one with this one, I had to match one. But the AI knows to target Gazelle because that the, it's programmed for the AI is not going to be stupid and just hit another. You know, just keep hitting other heroes and not target Gazelle. If it needs me to lose, it knows who has the weakest, who can take it out in one shot. You know, Sartana and uh, Neath both. Well, Neith hits everybody, but she went first and Sartana knew to hit Gazelle. If Sartana wouldn't hit Gazelle and hit this, this, uh, this is the exact lineup I had in there. Well, minus, I forgot who that other hero was. It wasn't Mother North, but I had a, a 370 REL on this lineup. That if it would have hit that other hero, I won. Everyone had max uh, mana and it destroyed them when she died. So, if you decide to do the pools for the Guardians of Tell Talk and you get Guardian Gazelle, I mean, I'm going to be happy for you. I don't care who you are. Um, I'm seriously contemplating, not tonight during this time, but down the road, like months down the road about getting a second one of her because she is great to have on offense and my raid defense is exactly like this minus him doll so the raid tournament this is what i have and that was my score well i finished three four seven four um i was probably top 500 or top 400 before the you know we went into day two and all right i guess people are like nah i ain't playing no more or i mean this is a brutal tournament but i just want to show you the defense using that team what i faced and you can pause it at any time and look you know So, I mean, you would think with a defense like this, this team shouldn't lose. Uh, uh, and I'm sure he, this person probably when he online, like, what? I lost? You know, like, yep. Your senior was about to pop. And I had to make a decision because on the tail... On the tail is about to pop. So, your senior on the tail had specials on deck. 
in Garden Gazelle, White Rabbit, and June had their specials. Mother North and Ariel kept me in the in that fight. Did so they can get their specials. Taloria was about to die because a bunch of yellow towels finally was like hitting her. A cascade was just hitting. And I was like, man, I don't because Cunchin already had healed. So I had defense down across the no, no, Ariel took that away. So Cunchin already had healed, but the cascades made Taloria lose a lot of health. Caitlin hadn't even fired yet. She was like on the brink. The next turn, she would have got her special. So I was like, man, who should I hit? Should it be Onatel or Yesenia? Okay, no brainer. Yesenia does more damage. But even if I activate Garden Gazelle, Garden Gazelle can still die from Yesenia. And the others will take the less damage. So I was like, I'm going to hit Yesenia right now. I hit Yesenia. She instantly dies because I, I activated Garden Gazelle first, then White Rabbit, then June. And then there was like three tile, three green tiles that I could line up to go up to your senior. Because your, your, your troops, the tiles that turn into troops and go up, they do more damage. Doesn't matter, you know. So, yeah, she poofed and then this team went down. So... I faced him before, just normal. <sighs> Same thing, differently. Uh, I didn't think I was going to win because the board, again, was like a ton of green and blue tiles. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to set up your senior, not, uh, sorry, Ariel and Mother North to, to make sure they stay, keep us in the fight. Just keep building. Like every time you see me hit Mother North special, you're like, why is he healing when he got max health, max health already? It's because I'm trying to build more minions to buffer the damage, the impact. Because the AI does more damage than me, than you. It's already a known. So I wanted to buffer where if they do 900 or 1300 damage, if you have two or three minions up, you're not going to lose like 80% of your health. You might lose 50 or 60, but not 80 where uh, now them tick hits, those normal hits, I call them tick ticks. Those matter. People don't think about that, especially if the AI is trying to target a specific hero and kill them all. But back to this. I got I got lucky when a cascade killed off your uh, Teloria. Finley's uh, special was ready to go. I was like, no, nah, activated Gazelle, activated White Rabbit in costume June, poof. And then it was between Kingston. Kingston revived five times in a row. He just would not die until he got his special. On the fifth time, he got his special, used it, and then he dies. But Drake and Cunchin, I saved Cunchin for last, and Drake was gone immediately after Kingston. So... This was the fight that I had the hardest. The hardest because of Lady of the Lake. And I said that with the Jean-Francois. Like, if Lady of the Lake was average, she would be OP. She would. And it's it's a fact. Even though she does nothing else but heal and use the summoning swords. And I'm going to have to give credit to uh, Yuka Sonata. Mari, uh, uh, Maru uh, on his channel because he, he, he and he's calling for a buff and at first I was like what I ain't never heard anyone want to want Lady of the Lake to be buffed but right here is like this is all she does and he was like all right so let's pull up Cunchin and let's put up Lady of the Lake they're both slow but Cunchin does more than Lady of the Lake and I thought about it. It was like, okay, so Cunchin cleans. Lady of the Lake doesn't clean. Cunchin gives the opponents all defense down. The ones who can take it, the, the ones who don't have to resist. Lady of the Lake doesn't do that. Cunchin gives an element link um, to Dark Heroes 
plus 40, uh, 46, you know, defense against Holy for four turns and can't be dispelled. And I was like, well, wow, you know what? It makes sense. And the only reason why I think that she, out of all the other stuff, the additional stuff that country can do over Lady of the Lake, Lady of the Lake, Lady of the Lake would still be OP. If they, even if they gave her average, oh my gosh. I think Lady of the Lake would then challenge Taloria. Seriously. Or, you know how you see the Vela, uh, Vela uh, Finley situation? It might be a combo where Taloria and Lady of the Lake would be side by side. Or, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can see that. Even though she can't cleanse, she can't give defense down, she can't give an element link. So, this, this, when I saw this and I saw his troops, I was like, okay, this player is not effing around. And I was like, all right, this is not going to be hard. But the, the, the two threats to me. Like instant threats, of course, yeah, Taloria is a threat, but the the biggest role players in this defense is Evelyn and Kingston. The, those two right there is why they're right there. Taloria over here is like a security blanket. Like once she runs out, once this runs out for two turns, she goes off or he goes off or it goes off. It's it's supposed to keep piling up on you where you keep getting the negative 24 mana generation. That's that I can see what this hero was trying to do. I mean, hero, this player was trying to do with this. While Evelyn and Kingston is going to like rip me apart. And Caitlyn is supposed to provide everyone the dodge. But here's what I thought about this. I think that this player messed up because when I fought him or her, whoever this flash player is, had Caitlyn been right here where Evelyn's at and Evelyn been over there at the wing, then it would have been a problem because it was too late. I already had killed off. Uh, I killed off Evelyn first. Then I killed off Kingston. Then it was, Caitlyn, costume Caitlyn, Taloria, Taloria. I kill off Tank Taloria. Caitlyn goes off and gives Taloria over here the dodge. And they're both dodging. And I was like, man, man. Had he or she would have put costume Caitlyn at the flank, I probably wouldn't have won this fight. Real talk. And that's unfortunate for this, like with the defense, the way it looked, I was like, man, this is pretty solid. So I just want to make a video talking about like guarding Gazelle. Yes, she, she has a glass chin as far as like, not like Cage and Gravemaker, but yeah, this is from, yeah, like. Wow just experimenting last night I, I wanted to experiment with costume June Guardian Gazelle White Rabbit Mother North and Ariel and I saw promise and that's why I went I was like okay I've I, and I, I was rating way more than this like you just people rated me when I went to bed Thank you, my stepmother and my sister in a profile picture, and my baby sent me that voice message. Um, I lost a lot. I didn't care. Like I said, I didn't care about the trophies. I wanted to see, and then I was like, when I went in there with that team, I was like, yeah, yeah. Um, and y'all seen me fight with this team before. I'll just try it for just sake right now. And yes, 
this team does is not over 4700 team power but again if the board is for you or eventually starts out for you then you have a big chance you really do okay who I'll do this because Ariel is closer. Yep, there we go. Just so y'all can see what I'm, what I'm talking about. That's fine. You see what I'm, you see this? This is exactly how the match went a lot of times. Now I can match his power. Just showing you an example. Boom. There you go. Just to demonstrate. So, I'm not saying it's going to be perfect, but you're trying to win. And again, when I went into the Ray tournament, I was like, Garden Gazelle, I look at Garden Gazelle, Black Knight. Ooh, excuse me. Didn't mean to burp. Black Knight, Garden Gazelle, and Hemdall. Like, I look at them as my tanks to do the 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 dirty work, the cleanup, and to save the team. Like the sacrificial lambs of the, the they the role players. They the Dennis Rodman. You need heroes like this where even when I started doing videos and I got him doll, I was going in. Y'all saw me doing this way before I started bringing in Black Knight. It would be like this. I was doing this at first. And I realized, like, at one point I was killing. But there was too many red tiles coming up at one time. I was like, okay, so I need to get rid of one of my heroes. That's going to help. And I was like, well, I need King Arthur and Finley. And I was like, well, Mother North is better at reviving. Who could help me give an attack boost? Because the attack boost was great. And then when I was like, let me try Black Knight. And I put Black Knight in there. And y'all been seeing my videos like going with this team. And then other people 
have said that, that I've inspired them to use Black Knight on offense, especially against Teloria. And then a lot of other people were seeing it, which forced Yersenia to get thrown out of the lineup and bring in Shishat or Cage. Because if Black Knight is going to save the team from all the specials being thrown at them, it's giving them a chance to win. Now, I'm not sitting here saying I'm the one that caused this and people, I'm the only one. But as far as videos, I didn't see people doing that. But I'm glad that people have said, you know, thank you for showing us that what Black Knight can do on offense. You know, a lot of people didn't, they wrote Black Knight off like Queen of Hearts. And and, and I've told people if uh, Lioness, you know, when she was with the Knights, she, I asked a question and she was the one that helped me in the Discord. I said, I got Black Knight and I haven't had Queen of Hearts yet. Queen of Hearts, I was going to get in November. So this is, was this September? It was probably towards the end of September when uh, the Knights of Avalon. Yeah, yep, September. And I said, uh, who should I push first, Black Knight or Queen of Hearts when I get her? And Lioness in the Discord said, born you push black knight first black knight is better within the first because i got him during the the pulls of the knights of the avalon and i think it was because of the the challenge event with black knight how how it was he was difficult so she already had queen of hearts uh not max emblem but emblemed up on her defense and she said that Black Knight is a is way better than Queen of Hearts, because once that card gets that card gets crushed easily gets crushed. Even though they they when they buffed her uh, taunt card, the minion they gave it more health. It's still not enough. So I faced someone who was using Queen of Hearts on defense, and I easily King Arthur alone, not even with Black Knight's. Uh, buff attack buff it took it out i was like dang you know they could at least allowed her to like queen of hearts compared to black knight black knight's better i'm sorry even though she gets to hit i'd rather take the one hp being hit with than to be able to uh, hit opponents and I just let everybody else do the work. Real talk. If, if, if you're struggling between who should I have, who should I push up, Black Knight or Queen of Hearts, it's not even a question no more. Now, if you don't have Black Knight and you have the Queen of Hearts, and you're like, should I wait until I get Black Knight? Well, that depends. You know, if you're really going to spend money to and get get the luck of the draw of getting him. If you're not going to spend money, then go ahead and push Queen of Hearts. That's not that's a no brainer question. And with a no-brainer answer. But uh, I definitely want to push the Hatter up. Man, I, I didn't realize how good Hatter is. I mean, I did facing him on defense. But using him on offense, man, I like him. I really do. I'm so glad I got him. Because especially when we go against Ice Tanks now with AJ, oh, it's a wrap. He's, he ain't doing nothing no more. I mean, he wasn't. He, I would always bring Shishat. But like two or three she shots against him. But now I don't have to bring that many. I can just bring one. But before I use it, I'd rather go ahead and use Hatter first and then go ham if I need to. Right? At, well, I will. But, uh, you know, this video is mainly about guarding Gazelle. And it's, it's unfortunate that this hero is taking all the attention just for defense. You, again, you're not hearing or seeing anyone say, yeah, man, Bella, man, she's on point on this, on offense and all that. Nah. I mean, I'm not saying that she can't do the job on offense, but her damage is mainly for multiple reds being used, fire heroes being used on, on offense, and she's on defense. So, stupid B. Oh, no, Wasp. But uh, it's like all the druid emblems are going to her. Now, 
Zim, Zim is making a slight comeback now because of the cleanse. So, and what I mean by that is if people are going in on offense with Grave Maker and Tire giving bleed damage with Black Knight as well because they stack. Oh, man, I wish I would have recorded this. And I was on the phone with my baby while she was listening to me. My whole team went down. It was just this, this brother left. It was three against one, and I took them out, and I'm laughing. I wish I would have recorded it. People are sleeping on you, dog. They are definitely sleeping on you. People are upset that he deals weak damage. Of course, you know, you want him to be a heavy hitter like Marjana, but oh, his, I don't know, the board, the board knew. The board was like, you know what, here's three more. And she, it, it came down to me and she shot, well, yeah, I was facing, I had to kill off Drake, I had to kill off Gravemaker, and I had to kill off she shot. Three against one, and I won. I ain't never been in a comeback like that in my life, in this game. With this hero, with no emblems. The board was giving me the special. Boom, 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 boom. Throwing red tiles up, kill off Grave Maker. Now, Drake Fong is right, uh, right wing. She shats left wing. I was like, you know what? I'm going to just go at Drake Fong first and i'm gonna just let she shot just keep using her special on me because her special alone was kill would kill me she was doing a thousand damage so it didn't matter how much health i'm re i'm regenerating dag mom come on <laughs> but uh fat fingering on the keyboard but uh she'll be 72 this month i can't wait to give her a good birthday um at the end of this month uh, where is it at? That resurrection. That's what kept me in the fight. Every time she hit me and Drake, it, it was like a perfect storm. They both would get their special and had Drake would have been left wing and she said would have been right wing. I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have won. I would have died because Drake on defense does a ton of damage for no reason. So she would kill me. I would go into ghost mode. Drake... <laughs> Use this special, miss. I revive, and there's already red tiles for me. Up, oh, push him up again, push him up, special. Kill off Drake phone. She shot hits me again, I die. More red tiles come up. And it was just back and forth, and she died with bleed. Bleed was just there, just stacking. And bypassing, you know. I don't know. It was, it was, I was like, man, I've never done that. And my baby was laughing with me. I couldn't believe it. And I said, baby, this is why I, I tried to explain it in the Discord with somebody about everything else that he brings to the table is huge. He's not a scrub. I look at him just like I look at Zim. She doesn't do big damage at all, but what she brings to the table matters. And there are some heroes that are like role players that matter they bring <laughs> man but all right i've done spoken long enough if you get guarding gazelle i do recommend you know giving her the six darts my next six darts where is it at so i got two more to go it's going to melosi and i really need melosi melosi is very good and He's helped out in my raids as well. Not raids, but the wars. Big time. Especially against like Teloria or Al Freak. <sighs> Boy. One of the players in the Discord got annihilated by this this hero in this raid tournament. I, I, I tell people. She is no one to sleep on. If you see her on defense, you better keep you better keep your eye, you know, your left eye looking at her while you looking at everybody else with your right eye. 
Because if you sleep and her special is ready to go off and you didn't kill her off yet, yeah. She is basically a security blanket. So if you see Taloria Vela, Gravemaker, and Drake, or Costume June, or White Rabbit, and you see her on there, you're like, oh, man, I'll freak ain't nothing. But if, if you putting up a good fight, and it's taking a while, and, sh and she's re she got a special on deck, it's over. Ain't nothing you can do. It's a wrap. So, uh... I hope y'all enjoying y'all's day, whether no matter what you're doing. Peace, love, and happiness as always. I'll holla and say whatever you want to say in the comments. Likes, dislikes, subscribe or unsubscribe, whatever you want to do. Be you.